This is Dan Max, the trading agent. This is a stock trading and recap channel that I wanted to share to the masses. In a probability game, there's no certainty. Here are my insights and predictions. Hello all, this is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka the trading agent, doing my stock market recap for Monday, November 8th? Question mark? Yes, it is Monday. Well, I hope you guys were following, and gals, were following our re Roblox comments as of recently. Talked about it compressing under the trend line. All I can think of is Ben Affleck smiling during Roblox going, I'm a fucking millionaire. Because if you held it, and you did hold it, and you saw today's action, and you just kind of were like, you know what, let's see what happens. You got into some earnings action. Boom. You got up to 105 at one point. You're up at 100. As we talked about, this was a big compression pattern under the downtrend. We broke out. Now you have higher highs. If you bought Roblox, you are loving life because you got in near the lows. We talked about this. I mean, we showed exactly where you should be getting in, this low end of the range. And if you just were patient and if you sold puts, bought calls, you are loving life. If you've just been holding because you bought low, and you're not a trader and you looked at the Google Analytics and you listen to Dan say, hey, the stock is got something coming. Just be patient. It's going to be a big dog. Somebody's accumulating. Somebody was buying the IPO. Someone was buying the dips. All this crap was a bunch of bullshit chop. Now we've progressed and we have blown out. Bitcoin. People, let me know what is going on. I forget about Bitcoin because I personally don't own any. That doesn't mean I don't think it's a good trade or that I did discourage it. I, for a long time, wasn't sure about it. But guess what? It is what it is. It's a good-looking setup. Big, big, big cup and handle. Get over the 65, 66,000 range in Bitcoin. We are rocketing. Please remind me. If you see videos without it, ask. Come to the Discord room. Leave a comment. I will personally shoot you a quick video and send it to you because that's how important it is. I don't follow all the coins because I can't follow everything all the time. I don't want to be some bullshit Jim Cramer where I try to tell everybody everything about everything I know and I'm wrong a lot. No, I'd rather focus on the stuff I know well and be right a lot. So that's the goal. The dollar. Dollar make you holler. Not really, actually. It's been in this tight channel up. It's making potentially a lower high. We said these days with the big red volume candles that it looked like somebody was selling now we'll see what happens we made a lower high play it if it fails play it if it breaks out in between it's just a bunch of bullshit just keep it that simple tlt every mortgage broker every real estate agent is bearish on the tlt and expecting higher rates next year well look at the big downtrend in red it's so far back, it goes all the way back to the crisis highs. Are we going to get back to those levels? I don't know. But it looks like rates are here to stay lower and potentially go lower next year. Keep an eye on the charts. Follow me to know what's going on. I promise you, everybody hates interest rates. The feds have been manipulating them for years. If anything was rational, interest rates would probably be at 6 or 7%. But this is not a rational market. And neither are bonds. You trade what the market gives you, not what you think it should be doing. The VIX, we've talked about this. The 15 level looks like a little W's forming. I don't know what's going to cause us to spike, but just keep it in mind. When the VIX gets low, it's cheap to hedge your stocks. Stocks that you've owned that have been doing really, really, really well might be due for pullbacks. Keep that in mind. We don't know anything for certain, but in a probability game, when the VIX starts bottoming out, you could expect a market pullback. Keep it simple, stupid. No need to overthink it. Spy. We are up at the top of the old channel. There's multiple channels, obviously, but this is a reference point. A little bit of expanding volume here along the channel high. I'm not saying the spy is going to dump tomorrow, but if at any point this week we get a quick, fast pullback and the VIX spikes and you are all in your stocks and have no gunpowder to buy anything, you're going to absolutely regret it because you were warned. QQQ, getting a little nervous up here. Our blue circle we drew last week was our upside target, the wedge. We're in it. We're close enough. 
400 level, watch it. Does it break and fail immediately? I don't know. But if I buy low, I want to sell high. And if it goes higher, it doesn't mean I sold it all, but I have my eye on the prize. I don't make assumptions. I don't hold indefinitely. The higher something runs, the less I own because I know at some point there will be a dip. Always is. Never ends. GLD. Gold. Everybody likes the action on Friday. We closed up along the 170 level. Obviously, 172 matters a ton. Get over the old downtrend, the bigger downtrend, because we're over this downtrend. Well, next downtrend to go. Do we get over it and we break out? Because if so, gold got ways to go, folks. It ain't going to be a small move. Silver, getting over the 100 day. This is big. Has not been over the 100 day in months, many, many months, many moons ago. So watching silver, you want to see it hold up, gold hold up. GDX, if you watch any videos and you come to any Discord room settings where I'm involved, you heard me screaming to everybody, 31, get it, GDX, head and shoulders bottom, broke the downtrend, backing off, retest, boom, that simple, buy it, keep a stop, very tight, and if it runs, you got room to the upside. AG, one of my favorite little silver miners, talked about it, broke this down channel, was back testing it, the 50 day, the channel 20 day, boom, higher highs. There you go. That's how you trade. That's how you don't chase. You wait for pullbacks. You know what the action can present. You play the probabilities. You keep it simple. KL holding out another major moving average, the 100 day. If you're not buying it between the 50 and the 100 day, you might regret it. You can use this as your buy, add entry or your stop. Keep it really, really, really simple. That's trading for you. Letter X, we talked about this. In nauseum, it's a big W. Just assume we're going to get into this blue box at some point. What we do from there? No guarantee. Could we hold high and tight? Could we chop? Could we just rip right through it? I don't know. But if you're buying at the 20 range, 30, that's a 50% gain. Nobody's complaining about that. Put money in your pocket. Not going to be mad at you. You can always add back later. AMD, this is on my radar, not necessarily to short, but it is upper channel highs. Big straight line move. This is the kind of stuff that can be sold and potentially lead to a pullback. You saw it here, big nice straight up move, consolidation, then went higher. Not saying AMD is going to crash, but I would if I owned it, I'm taking profit. I'm thinking to myself, damn, that's a lot of, that's a good move. That's a 50% move, 100 to 150 nobody's complaining about that in a month so if you own it and you're not taking any off and it drops then you can't add well shame on you and if it runs higher good but a probability game do you want to own 100 percent at the bottom just like would you want to flip this stock upside down would you want to be short 100 percent at the lows after this big a move probably not you know the bounces the reverberations in the market the reversion to the mean is coming there will be a pullback at some point from what price I don't know, but being greedy gets painful at some point. Apple, we've talked about this. If it's a head and shoulders top or it, it's going to fail or it's going to be invalidated and you will be shooting higher, just keep an eye on it. Notice how it can't get over this downtrend. Wait, wait, wait for the downtrend. Just keep it simple, folks. Micro strategy since Bitcoin. Oh, man. Last week, everybody said, oh, it broke out, but it, I don't know. Holding high and tight. Look at the backfill volume. It was absolute fucking dirt. Gap up, higher high. We talked about this last week. Kind of looks like some sort of uh, Roblox Junior. You're breaking the downtrend. Expect the 888 level, 882 levels at some point when it gets there. Could it chop? Maybe. Think of every move. Chop. Then, ooh, that's a big chopper. But again, chop. That happens. I mean, even look at the, the run-up from last year. Up, consolidate, up, chop, up, consolidate, up, 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 blow off, done, consolidate. This is a big consolidation pattern. If MicroStrategy is going to go, it is going to go. People that I know with long-term calls will be very happy. They will be singing the tunes and praises to my calls. No, I'm just kidding. They're the ones who bought them when it was hard, but... They knew the charts. Hopefully they got in nearer the lows, and you're going to be happy. You should be dancing on the ceiling if Bitcoin breaks out even more. Tesla, 
Oh, man. Like I said, the risk is to the downside after a certain point. Thought it was here and then said maybe the two times range. Guess what? I don't care about being perfect, but I knew a drawdown was coming. Nice gap down today. Elon says nothing that really matters. If you were 100% invested, you couldn't buy the dip. Bottom line, if you were selling as it was rising and say you sold at least a third of it, you could have bought back today if you wanted. Or you feel better about yourself for doing so because greedy people get their ass kicked at some point. Straight line moves usually are at the end of a move, not the beginning. Keep that in mind. We'll see what happens. I'm not a bear. I'm not a bull. I just know if I owned it personally, I'm taking profits here. You would, again, I would, if I didn't take profits and I've been doing what I'm doing long enough, you'd be like, that guy's a fucking idiot. Pen gaming. Dave Portnoy, who gives a shit? The news, whatever. I don't know if it's true or not. Not who gives a shit in the sense of what happened, but who gives a shit about like what's the reality of it all? Because none of us know. It's he's getting being held in the trial of the public versus in a real trial with evidence and all that kind of stuff. People can write articles all they want. Somebody knows something. That's why you couldn't bounce higher now. The 618, we talked about Fibonacci's and the base, back to basic series. If you don't believe in Fibonacci, shame on you because you don't know what you don't know. And sometimes that can hurt you. Right now, just watch this. It's in no man's land. 56 to the 64 range. I know that's eight points, but the stock was up at uh, buck 40 at one point. You know, I'd rather be late and right than early and just dead wrong so if you can get near 56 great if you can't just wait we need to get back above this blue zone to confirm strength if not it could be a choppy sloppy all over the place and then you would not be wanting to buy up by 63 64 you'd be wanting to buy in the mid 50s to low 50s buying it in between 59 60 58 61 might work out might not that's more of a coin flip i don't do coin flips i try to put probabilities in my favor until i see something change it's kind of a Buy the low end of the range, wait for the breakout. In between, you might be twiddling your thumbs. It might be a week, two weeks, who knows. Let's end it on XOP. You had some oil names. I'm looking at this stuff, and I don't think oil is going lower. It looks like a megaphone pattern. We're compressing up against the highs. My little green arrow signifies where I think it's going to go. Hold the 20-day. Repeat, 20-day moving average. That is the key. Hold it. We're good. You can compress here for a fucking month, and it would not be bearish. Then it breaks out. I don't know. Keep in mind, cold weather is coming. Is the oil going to spike? We are tremendously under supplied. I mean, I think they're talking about cutting off another supply line uh, this week because of environmental issues. Well, I guess, you know, if we freeze to death, at least the environment will be safe. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really know what the real solution is. There's a lot of politics and energy. And honestly, I'd like to be more green, more electric, but there has to be a plan. You just can't cut off the faucet and then assume assume that we can replenish it with electricity. We, we need more nuclear. We need more um, alternative energies. It's, it's just not as simple as saying, hey, let's not use oil tomorrow. We don't have a solution. We don't have a plan. So I won't get into that rant, but I really appreciate everybody. If you ever have questions, come to the Discord room. Drop a question, comment, anything. I will do my best to answer it. And give you the insight that I have. And guess what? I mean, that's just part of it. I mean, one day people are going to look back at this stuff and say, this was pure gold. And if you don't understand a lot now, I under, I get it. But just keep in mind, this is I'm shooting a fire hose of information at you. You have to be a sponge. You pick up a little every day. I apologize if sometimes my uh, vernacular and how I explain things might be a little complicated. It's just hard because I've been doing this so long. I don't know how sometimes to talk, be more explanative of the words or explanatory of the words that needed to for someone who's newer. Just like if I came into your office tomorrow, you'd have to talk in a way to make me understand things with more analogies and more simply so that I could understand it. I can't, I apologize that my finance math brain is not speech Number one, you know, how to explain this to anybody and everybody and everybody. I don't want to say dumb down because that seems derogatory, but that's kind of what I have to do at times. But I appreciate the feedbacks. Be like, hey, Dan, what you're saying is way the fuck over my head. 
what? Can you please explain yourself? What does that mean? Hey, you know what? I am open to criticism. I will gladly try to fix or drop a video, drop a comment, come to the Discord room, whatever, to try to help somebody understand it. Because I know it is a lot. And I understand this is a knowledge-based business. And it does take time. But when the teacher... The student is ready, the teacher will appear. So if I'm gonna be your teacher, you have to be a student. You gotta work hard. You gotta realize there's a lot to going on here and there's a lot to learn. So I'm gonna to try to do my best to help as many people as possible because giving back is just good juju, good karma. You give to receive in life and I just enjoy it. And I do enjoy teaching and helping. So again, Dan Max at EXP, AKA the trading agent. I love everybody, and I appreciate everybody who's helped me out, and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and get ready for tomorrow. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the content. Also, smash the like button, share with your friends, and add a comment. If there's a topic or stock you'd like me to give you insight about, let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thanks.